is Charity Baiwas Bayaksan. I'm from the North Luzon Highland District and currently working as the Human Resource Development Officer of the LCP. I am born Lutheran. My mom is a Lutheran. Most of my family are Lutheran members already uh, when I got into church. And so I would say born Lutheran talaga po ako. <laughs> I was a child, I'm already a Lutheran, I am going to church for yung family mo, andun din. But as I grow older, I learn to value it and therefore, um, it's a personal choice. My home church is in the Highland, uh, in Tabao Lutheran Church, that is Redeemer Lutheran Church. But uh, my mom being a, with my mom being a church worker, she is a deaconess, uh, I have been to a lot of churches also, like uh, St. Peter Lutheran Church, Canaan Lutheran Church. So, parang, ano, uh, well-versed sa Lutheran Church in the Highland, if I would say it that way. Uh, as a youth leader, I am, I am a youth leader in the church. Uh, I started in the Highland and therefore, in my high school days, college days, even elementary days, I used to just casually invite friends over some church activities that we have in the church, whether that is congregational, um, district, or something wider in context. Mga mostly youth activities, I would say. The biggest impact to me of being a Lutheran, uh, so many to mention. <laughs> Uh, but I would say the greatest would be simply knowing Christ and uh, being in His uh, abundant mercy and grace. That is what I always take pride that as a Lutheran. Being a Lutheran all throughout my life, uh, I just uh, could, couldn't say anything except uh, experiencing God's grace and mercy all throughout. So that's a biggest blessing. Uh, I think there really are a few Lutherans in the Philippines, uh, statistically speaking. And as comparing to other big churches or that we know that already are existing, uh, ako masasabi ko, based on what I know, uh, nakokonti talaga palang ang mga Lutheran members. Uh, I think one thing that would help the Lutheran church to grow or for us to expand, if that's uh, what you mean, is that um, coming up really with evangelism strategies. And uh, we are a mission church by our vision na to become a leading missionary church in the Philippines and abroad, that is our LCP vision. I think it's important that as Lutheran members, as LCP members, each will take to heart this vision for us to be able to uh, reach out more people for Christ. Importante na may isa puso talaga yon uh, at uh, yung bang ma internalize ng bawat isa para uh, ma share natin mas madali ang pag share natin or else it will only be uh, para bang ma ma mahirap talaga pag hindi yon fully accepted or fully uh, taken into heart by us Lutherans would like to invite uh, interested young Lutheran members who would want to uh, help in the ministry of our church that uh, to come and to join us at the Biblical Vocational uh, Lay Institute. So the very goal of this program is yun nga, we acknowledge that the, the sharing of the gospel is not a sole responsibility of our pastors. They need lay leaders, lay missionaries. So our goal is to train lay missionaries uh, to know more about Christ, to grow in the Lutheran Church, um, to nurture them in the Lutheran Church, which later on, they may not uh, be pastors, but um, that they will be active uh, 
leaders uh, that they can share Christ in their workplace uh, wherever they are. That's the goal of this uh, project, this program that we have. I do have a lot of uh, favorite Bible verse, but siguro my life verse that I am rooting now is from Joshua 3.5. Uh, as a youth leader, Joshua 3.5 says, Consecrate yourself for tomorrow. God will do amazing things through you. As a youth leader, I always root for this because I believe that uh, I can do something for the church, to serve God in the church, and that is why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you.